Hello and welcome to That's So Auburn podcast. We have a very special episode planned for you today and I get to say that wholeheartedly because I have the unique pleasure of talking with not one, but two Miss Auburns. Joining me today at the podcast table are Miss Auburn Maddie Lindsay and Miss Auburn's teen Maddie McCarthy. The Maddies were crowned earlier this year in February at the Miss Auburn Scholarship Organization pageant at the Auburn Performing Arts Center and ever since have been active in our city spreading their community service initiatives and serving as goodwill ambassadors to all and mentors to young women in Auburn. I can't wait for you to hear our spirited and inspiring conversation, so let's get to it. Maddie, Maddie, welcome and hello. We're going to have to figure out a nickname for one of you at least. Otherwise, when I say Maddie, you're both going to answer, aren't you? (laughs) Yes, you will. (laughs) And so how do you do that when you're together? Is it Maddie with a Y, Maddie with an IE? The directors have definitely started calling us IE and Y. Yeah. Okay. One will just go IE or Y and we'll just, just, our heads will turn either way, but. At we'll first, know who we're talking about. we were thinking Little Maddie and Big Maddie, but I'm uh, not sure I would be called Big Maddie. So, no. yeah, well, I think the I, E, and yeah. Y are, are a good <laughs> a good alternative for that. Um, and Maddie, so Miss Auburn, I hear you sometimes go by Miss Maddie. Is that right? Yes. Okay. So how does that sound if I call you? Well, we'll see how it goes. How's that? We'll, we'll just see how it goes. I bet you'll figure out who I'm talking about when, <laughs> when I'm chatting. So you've earned the title being a former teen and now are Miss. So tell, tell me a little bit about that. You had the unique opportunity to be Miss Auburn's outstanding teen at that point in time before the, before the name change. And now you're Miss Auburn. So tell us a little bit about the differences in those two roles. Yes, I was Miss Auburn's outstanding teen in 2020 and 2021 because of COVID. I got that extra year and going into Miss Auburn, I was like, it's the same thing, right? Um, The pageant was completely different. It was a completely different show and it's, it's really cool being a big sister. That's my favorite part is I get to have IE over here and be my partner in crime and just being that big sister and that mentor to others is it's been the best thing. Yeah. We got really lucky to be paired together, so I'm yes, just going to say that. <laughs> and I know that that's not always the case. Uh, I've been around. I've been around with Miss Auburn for mm, forty plus years, so I know that that is not always the case. But there always hasn't been a, a teen uh, representative either. But uh, Maddie, teen Maddie, I E, <laughs> tell us a little bit about you. So uh, I am a lover of music. Let's just start with that. My CSI is based around music, my community service initiative. There we go. I was just saying, I know I always forget to do that. (laughs) But my community service initiative is based around music. And um, I'm a junior at uh, Auburn Riverside High School, and I am dedicated in uh, our music and our arts programs there. And um, what else about me? I have I have four siblings, so I've come from a big family, and um, so I'm used to having sisters and brothers. So Maddie's just like an extra. Um, it's it a bonus, a bonus. Right? She's very much my <laughs> bonus big sister. I've always wanted a big sister. I have a big brother. I've I've always wanted a big sister. So she's definitely filled that role and filled it good. So very nice. And <laughs> you you do come from a family that is deeply immersed in music. Yes, I do. So my grandma and my grandpa, they were both music teachers. Um, They are retired now, but my grandma taught a choir at Auburn High and my grandpa taught choir and band at uh, Matson Middle School. And my mom now teaches music at Lakeland Hills Elementary. And now next year she'll be moving on to um, Mount Baker Middle School choir director. So Choir directors, band teachers, like all of the above. All of the um, above. I I have been to more than one of your grandmother's wonderful productions over the years, and my daughter was in her class. So I got to see her perform uh, with the amazing talent that your grandmother has, and, and I know it runs in the family. Yeah, she's quite special, and she started a legacy, so. She did indeed. And Maddie, Miss Maddie, or Miss Auburn, tell us about you a little bit. I know uh, we talked a little bit about 
the difference between the teen and the MISS program, but tell us why you decided to run for the MISS program. Yeah, so I started in this program when I was 13. I'm now 20. I turned 20 the day before Miss Auburn this year. And I was total tomboy. I played hockey. I like I liked to climb trees, all that stuff. And if you had asked me then if I would run in a pageant, because at the time that's exactly what it was. It was a pageant. I would have been like, Psh, makeup? Doing my hair? No way. Um, but I was at cheer practice one day, and a little girl came up to me and asked me to be her big sister. And I was like, sure, I don't care. I'll be your big sister. And her mom texted my mom the link to run for Miss Auburn's Outstanding Teen. I was like, mom, I don't know about this, but let's do it. Challenge accepted. And I started and I was hooked. Like the family aspect. Um, I'm an only child. I was raised with brothers and sisters because my mom's been a nanny my whole life. But having that family aspect and like, okay, one day I could have a big sister in this program. And now that I am the big sister, it's been the best thing. And I'm happy. And I think this is maybe my last year running now because I feel like I've made it to the top, but I lo- I just love being a part of the Miss Auburn family. Excellent. Well, you know, there's always volunteering after you choose not to compete any longer. So don't ever forget that. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about your community service initiative and why you chose it. Yeah, so my community service initiative is Youth Serving Youth, the Importance of Youth Volunteerism. And I chose it because from a very young age, my mom instilled in me to volunteer. That's the easiest way to give back. Um, We didn't have a lot of money growing up, but we didn't ever feel like we needed it. Um, We were able to delegate and ask people for coloring books and crayons and start taking them to Seattle Children's Hospital and other little projects like that. We were rich because of our support system we had, and we were able to give back to everyone that helped me. I was premature when I was younger. Um, I was born two and a half months early. Wow. And so I was in and out of Seattle Children's as a kid and even more um, throughout my teen years. And my mom, she was a type, she got diagnosed with type 1 diabetes when she was three years old. So she was also in and out of Children's Hospital. So that was our way of giving back. We got to collect coloring books and crayons. And that's kind of how it started. Now I use it more as a way to be involved in the community and also kids that were given opportunities as kids that maybe they don't have the best backstories or they weren't raised in the best of places, um, teaching them that just because they were dealt a hand of cards isn't the hand that they have to play and using volunteerism as that stepping stone to reach big things and build their resumes and get them into new programs that make them want to succeed. Very nice. I like that. I like both of your reasons for your community service initiatives because they really do resonate with you. They are not something that you just picked because you wanted to run in the program and you had to have a CSI. You have lived these for your lives. So that is really meaningful. And especially because the state competition is coming up soon for each of you. Maddie IE, tell us more about what the event's like and how you've been preparing. And then Maddie Y, you listen because I'm going to ask you the exact same question. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, it's my first time going to the state competition with my first title. So it's I'm still learning going on. I'm still not quite sure of all the things. I mean, I know what I'm doing, but I'm at the same time, I feel like I'm taking my steps as I am going. And but um, going into it, it's going to be, uh, we have a prelim night, which is going to be super fun. It's basically going to be like a party on stage. I feel like I'm, (laughs) I've never heard it uh, talked about like a party on stage, but that's intriguing. I know I, that's how I'm taking it. You know, I'm excited for it. It's, it's more of a fun thing for me, um, to get to share, um, my community service initiative through on stage question. And especially in my interviews the day before, um, the prelim night, and then to share my love for music through my talent. So I am looking at it as a party, um, or rather than a pageant, it's going to be super fun. And of course, um, like, I don't know, it's just going to be a great experience. And then finals night, we'll get a, if, if I make it there, we'll get a little more intense, <laughs> but it'll still be fun and a great experience that I'll remember forever. So will finals night be a party as well? Yes. Finals night is, I think everything will be a party for me. I'm choosing to make that my mindset. Um, but I think either way, I'm going to have a great time with some amazing ladies and I'm going to have Maddie supporting me. And so I think it's going to be real fun. And the teen program is the week before the miss program, correct? Yes. Wow. You have you have an amazing executive director in Tammy Bothell. Uh, that's a lot for two weeks worth <laughs> of 
competitions and getting to know the other they're calling them contestants again, right? Yes. It's yeah. gone back and forth over the years. Uh, all right, Maddie, with a Y, your turn. Tell us about your ups, uh, your upcoming competition. Well, this is this isn't my first rodeo. I I competed for Miss Washington's outstanding team in 2021, but I am seeing like that there is very big differences again. Obviously, we were still in the midst of the pandemic. Um, we were at can't think of the name of it, some casino in Shelton at the time. And it was just a completely different thing. Um, we were wearing masks on stage. We couldn't really get too close to the contestants still. We weren't able to have these bondings that I'm getting to have now. So I'm excited to actually have that aspect. And I'm more seeing of it as like, let me, th- let me see all the people I can meet. We're going to make so many friends um, for Miss. We stay the entire week. So we check in Sunday morning. We check out the following Sunday. So it's a full week of festivities. And I can't wait. At first, I was going into it like, oh, you know, just top 10. Maybe I want to make it a second day. And now I'm not saying I want to win, but I want to show people that um, haven't had an easy time growing up that they can do this. And again, your story isn't what you what you it's it's what you make it. And I'm I'm here for it. I'm excited. Very good. So what have the two of you been doing to prepare? I'm sure both of you with your talents, i.e. you're a singer. Why? You're a dancer. And I'm sure you've been practicing your your competition talents. What about interviews? I mean, you're doing a mock interview basically right now, but <laughs> what have you been doing for mock interviews? Uh, we've been meeting Maddie more, other Maddie more than I have because I've just, I've been super busy, but we've been meeting on Zooms and been discussing current events uh, going on, not only in Washington, Auburn area, but also just globally, nationally, you know, and just doing some roundtables and doing some other question and answer type things, just getting us ready for anything that could come up in our interviews. So what what do you think? Uh, I I don't think the listeners know this, but Maddie and I are kind of... um interview pros. We were both top really? interview Are in the Miss we? Auburn. <laughs> well. or, yeah, we've we've been training for this. So yeah, we haven't been doing many mock interviews, I would say. It's more just talking about current events. There's a lot going on in the world these days. There is indeed. And it's hard to keep track of all of it, but we have a great support system behind us that um, sends us messages with current events and different things that different things that are going on. Yeah. So they've been keeping us on track. That's that's our big part that we've been prepping on. Yeah. All right. So current events, I'm not going to grill you on them, but (laughs) both of you, what do you think is the most important current event impacting youth in our country right now? Uh, uh, Can I go first? I don't have a certain current event that's happening. I think it's the amount of youth that are getting criminal records and that they are, um, that's our biggest thing is felonies going on with children. And it's all ties back to mental health. And again, ties back to my community service initiative. I believe if we can pull them into something that gives them a purpose and makes them feel seen, maybe we'd be seeing a little bit less of that. Yeah. Mine, it, again, it, mental health is a big struggle in uh, youth today. And a lot of that, I'm not anti um social media, but I think there should be ways to use social media in the good way versus a bad way. And like tying it into my community service initiative, music helps with our mental health. Like it, it helps bring everybody together that like needs to be together. And it's just, it's amazing the things that music can impact through social media and stuff like that. So I, I think that's a major thing is social media and mental health that is going on. So I saw an article today that said there are those that believe that there should be a warning label on social media platforms similar to what there is on cigarettes. Caution, utilizing the social media platform may be dangerous to your mental health. What do you think about something like that? Is that is that too much? Is that not enough? What do you think? I mean, I don't know if it, it's a good idea in theory. However, I don't know if teens these days are going to listen to that. They might see it and be like, oh, yeah, maybe that might work. But I don't know if that's really going to help them in the long run. They're going to do what they're going to do. And it's kind of hard to assume what each individual is going to take that as. But, yeah. Yeah. What do you think? I think my biggest thing is um, kind of the same thing. I think it would be a good thing to have a warning label, mostly for the parents. Parents, check up on your kids' Mm -hmm. social media. Kind of see who they're following. 
And also just check up on your kids. I think that's the biggest thing is we turn to social media at times because that's our connection. We can connect with people on there. Um, I'm not very great at using social media. I wish I was better. I forget to post. I forget all the things. I get in trouble for it. Um, but I also have an amazing support system that checks up on me and talks to me and they can tell when I'm having a hard day. And I don't think everybody has that. And I think that on the other side, yes, we should have a warning, but we should also have people to check up on us. For sure. Couldn't agree with you more. All right. That was a, that was a challenging <laughs> interview question. So an easier one, hopefully, although some people, these are not easy questions when you're mm -hmm. talking about yourself. Um, Maddie with a Y, what one word best describes you? Huh. I would say, <laughs> I would say I'm pretty personable. Um, everybody I meet, I feel like I make that connection. I make sure that they feel like the most important person in the room. And that's a goal I have every day going into whether I work for the city of Auburn at Parks and Rec. Mary Nancy signs my paycheck. So I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> um, I think that that's something that you meet so many people on a day-to-day -day basis in that work field. And I want to make sure that every child, teen, and adult feels like the most important person in the room. Very nice. Maddie IE, do you do you have a different word to describe Maddie with a Y? <laughs> she's hilarious. Hilarious. I'm just saying she's and the mo the sweetest person I've ever met. Like, I mean, when I say I was happier to see her crowned than I was happy than I was for myself. I she deserved it because she's the sweetest soul in the entire world. So if you don't know Maddie. There's your little hint. She is the sweetest person in the world. Thank you. Very that was nice. the same way I felt about her getting crowned. I broke into tears when I, I saw, saw her. You. I know. And I, yeah, I I was okay with not being crowned again, too. I was like, but Maddie, it's her year. She's got it. Yeah. Very nice. All right, Maddie with an IE. What makes you laugh? Oh, well, I think I kind of already answered this. <laughs> <laughs> she... Maddie with a Y, she is, again, the most hilarious person, whether it be, like, her picking me up and, like, just telling me a joke or asking me how my day was. She always finds a way to make me laugh in the darkest of situations. Like, even I remember the night of Miss Auburn, I was so scared, so nervous, um, just because I knew that, I think deep down I knew something was going to happen that night. And um, Did she you was, have a good feeling that day? I, that night? I did not. I no. I mean, I think towards the end of it, after I'd gotten done with some of the events or some of the stages, phases, yeah. the phases, I had felt a little bit better. But beforehand, I was like, there, I feel like there's so much pressure on me. Um, yeah. And she had just been able to pull me out of that dark mindset. And again, that's where I got my party on stage mindset <laughs> is kind of like, that's I had fun once I realized I'm just having fun. And it was her because she could make me laugh. So I love that. And she's kind of not the opposite because she makes me laugh, too. But she keeps me grounded. I I'm, I go into everything with that party mindset and I want to make everyone laugh. And I think I'm a comedian at times. And Maddie will tell me, like, oh, we're in a serious event. you got to take a breather. And <laughs> we kind of we balance each the, other yeah, out. We make, yes. same, we make a perfect it's person. Our, it's our <laughs> perfect <laughs> pairing right here. She keeps me it on time. It is a perfect pairing. She keeps me on time. And yeah, she's she's the best. Okay. Yeah. Well, so there's, there's another question then. What has been your biggest challenge, Maddie with a Y, uh, being Miss Auburn? I think remembering to take time for myself has been the biggest thing. Um, we're both extremely busy people. I'm a nanny and I work for the city of Auburn Parks and Rec and, and I, I coach here <laughs> and, and she signs my paycheck. And <laughs> I think that there's just a lot of things that way. I'm also the director for the Auburn Youth Ravens cheer program. And at the end of the day, it's 930 at night and I haven't had a single moment to myself. And I think when I get to that point, I kind of break down. I think that's been my biggest thing is remembering that your own mental health is important. And even though I, I support others every day, I have to remember to support myself. That's been my biggest there you Thanks. go. That is so you are in in really good schooling to be the mayor. Let's do it. Maddie right. for mayor. Well, I say Maddie, actually all the time. No, just Maddie Y for go. mayor. Maddie. I don't know if I could do that. <laughs> you could be my Tammy. Okay. <laughs> good. I'll be your Tammy. <laughs> okay, Maddie IE, what has been the most difficult or challenging part for you that maybe you didn't realize 
uh, being Miss Auburn teen? I think um, I have two, actually. Um, one, being busy. Overachiever, uh, she has two. Yes. <laughs> oh, wait, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. Is like being a high schooler um, with AP classes and choir and full schedule from I play club softball. And um, it's just like been hard to make this my priority, which I've wanted to make it my priority. And, it, and most of the time it is. But there's family stuff. There's personal stuff um, and relationships that I need to keep and not block out, you know? So it's been, that's been a challenging part, but, um, also like realizing that I am someone little girls look up to. It's something I've always wanted. And I, it's just always having little eyes, eyes on me. And they look up to me with a sparkle in their eye, you know, they're like, Oh, a pretty crown. (laughs) She's so cool. And I just like, it's not, that's not hard for me per se, but it's just something I didn't expect me feeling. I, I, I feel pride that they choose to look up to me, but I also just am like nervous. I'm like, why, why me? I just, I don't, but then, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I just, I find it super cool, but also scary at the same time. <laughs> I have a quick story to play off of that with those eyes on us. I was at Emerald Downs yesterday for Auburn Steaks Day and I was getting really hangry. Like I needed a hot dog or some fries Uh and uh, you guys might not know this, but you have about 2.5 to get me some food when I say I'm hungry else. I am Shrek. Like I am angry. She's got snacks in her crown box. I usually always have snacks in my crown box. Does she keep some up in her crown (laughs) when she Uh, has it on? And I, the lines were so long because it was Father's Mm -hmm. Day and I could not get food fast enough. And I love meeting new people. Um, but a little girl came after me and I like came to talk to me and I was like, babe, I, I really want to talk to you right now. And I did, but I had to almost like warn her, like, I'm so hungry, but that's the hard part is when you were feeling your emotions Mm -hmm. and I was hungry and my uncle was not getting me my hot dog fast (laughs) enough at that moment. He tried, he, he was a saint. He, he tried, but I, that was our hard part was like, you have to be there and you are a princess to that little girl. And She's looking up to you, and her name is Hayden. She's the sweetest little girl ever. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Hayden. But I was so hangry in that moment, and remembering that those eyes are on you yeah. is a very hard part. Yeah. That's a that's a great message <laughs> to remind people. I think we all need to be a little nicer at times and, yes. and remember that somebody is watching us and that someone— we could make a big difference in someone's life. We think it's a small thing. We we may not even think twice about the encounter, but for someone else, it could be incredibly important. Yeah. And as you were talking about mental health earlier, especially in situations like that, we we just don't know what kind of an impact we have on people. Right. So yeah. even uh, just a smile, a, yeah, smile. Just a smile on a bad day. Yes, I have a I have a. I love quotes. So I have one on my desk that says, be kinder than necessary for everyone you meet is fighting some type of battle. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you may be fighting a battle too, but it's your moment to be able to help someone else who's fighting there. So kudos to both of you for taking on these roles because it's not just glitz and glamour. It's the difficulty of putting the crowns on. (laughs) It's being out in public sometimes when you don't feel your very best, but you don't get a choice. Right. Uh, and I, I don't want, I don't want people to, to think that this is just all a beauty pageant. Clearly by the comments that you've made today, you're both incredibly intelligent young women who have the right reasons for being Miss Auburn and Miss Auburn's teen. So thank you both for that. But just I just want everyone listening to know that this is the quality of young women involved in the, in the Miss Auburn program. And I am really proud to be involved with you. And I have seen you both grow up, right? I have, I have seen you both turn into amazing young women who really care about this community. And that's what it's all about. It's the community service, the now they call community service initiative, but it's it's really making a, a difference in the lives of the people in the community. So I applaud you both for that and, and thank you both. Now, tell me, once, once you are at home and the crowns are off and the makeup has been wiped off and you're in your sweats, what do you do to relax? You Relax. Me? What's that? <laughs> it's uh, nine thirty at night, Maddie. With some wife. homework, and t- no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I I like to watch movies. I love movies. Disney. I'm a big Disney fan. We're 
big Disney family. Um, so we always love to do Disney family movie night or just movie night in general. I actually like just saw the first Fast and the Furious movie oh, yeah. a co- like a week ago with my family. And so we're going to make it a little series. We're going to watch oh, the rest nice. of them. Okay. But that's one of my favorite things to do is hang out with my siblings, with my mom and watch movies to relax. Yeah. Nice. Maddie with a Y. In the off chance, like I have an actual off day. It's um, laying in my sweats and just, I'm a big napper. I really like to <laughs> nap. I don't get to take them as often as I like, but I, I really like to nap. So if I actually have an off day, that's what I would do. But when I get home at night, uh, my mom and I, we like to just binge our shows. Right now we're watching Grey's Anatomy. We like to watch Remember the Titans. It's the best movie of all time. We watched it three <laughs> times in one night. Wow. One time. Um, after the Seahawks lost the Super Bowl. Oh. Uh-huh. So you really you needed that pick me up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's just the best movie and just spending time with my mom. She's my best friend. She's the coolest. That's mm-hmm. amazing. I love hearing that. Well, Maddie with an IE and Maddie with a Y, thank you so much for joining me today for this special Miss Auburn themed episode of That's So Auburn. And good luck in the upcoming Miss Washington competitions. The Miss Washington teen competition is June 28th and 29th. And Miss Washington is July 5th and 6th. And that's down in Olympia, correct? Yes. All right. So you can follow their journeys on social media and future contestants as well. Mm -hmm. Sign up today at www.missauburn.org. And ladies, do either of you have any closing thoughts that you would like to share? No. I mean, no, thank I you. Just, thanks for yeah having us on here. It was nice to talk. I, I feel like I need to end it this way because I tell everyone this and all my kids, but go be kind. Mm-hmm. Go be kind. Go, go be kind. Uh, that's a great that's a great thing to end on. Ladies, thank you both so much. The best of best of luck to both of you, although it's not luck, you're both talented. But I wish you the best in this journey and thank you so much for serving our city. Thank, thank you. you.